This is the Madison College Writing Center's Two Minute Tutors. I'm Kate Stover. And I'm Suzanne Treiber. Today, we will answer the questions, how do you find run-on sentences and how do you fix them? For the next two minutes, we'll talk about some basic strategies to find and fix run-on sentences. So, you have a run-on sentence when two sentences are written as one sentence. Okay, but let's back up a little bit here so you can remind us what a sentence is, Suzanne. All right, a sentence needs to pass two tests. It has to have a subject that does something, and it has to express a complete thought. But when it comes to a run-on sentence, the problem is you have two sentences that pass these Mm -hmm. tests without correct punctuation between them. They literally just run together. So how do you know if the sentence is a run-on sentence, Suzanne? Well, first, look to see if there are two separate subjects, each with their own action in the same sentence. How do you do that? In a simple sentence, the subject comes before the action. So in this sentence, the subject is I, and it's followed by the action studied. So next I look to see if the rest of the sentence stays focused on that subject in action. Uh Uh-oh, it looks like there's trouble ahead. I think there's a new subject, Ted, with his own action. That's exactly right, Kate. That's why we have a run-on. Let's look at how we can fix this run-on sentence. Well, Suzanne, there are many ways to fix run-ons. Let's look at a few of the most common. Sounds like a plan. The quickest fix is to add a period like you see here before you begin with your new subject in action. Another option is to use a semicolon, like you see here. Another way to fix a sentence is to link them together. Yes, we can do that by adding two things, a comma and a coordinating conjunction. If you list the coordinating conjunctions like this, you can see that their first letters spell the word fanboys. That's a great way to remember coordinating conjunctions, Kate. That's the only way I can remember them. (laughs) All right, so let's practice. Take a look at the run-on sentence on your screen. Pause the video and rewrite it. Remember, you have at least three options. Okay. The first way is to add a period, making two completely separate sentences like you see in the first option. The second way is to add a semicolon, like in the second statement. Another option is to insert a comma along with one of the fanboy's words. In this sentence, the writer chose the word but. That's a great choice, Kate. I like it. Thanks. Would you like to talk more about how to fix run-on sentences? Why not meet with a tutor at your nearest writing center? We'd be delighted to answer questions like these and all types of questions about writing. Well, it looks like our work here is done, Suzanne. Right on, Kate. Right on, Suzanne, and thank you all for joining us.